This is Rubber Mart, and it looks like a minivan, but it's a bit more than that. This is the world's first self-driving store. The big difference, the advantage that we have, we have three key advantages to delivery. Number one, there's no scheduling. You can hail a Rubber Mart when you're ready. Number two, there's no basket, there's no online cart. You don't have to search for items which can take 15, 20 minutes and then place an order. Instead, you're just picking items in front of you when the Rubber Mart arrives. And number three is no reliance on a third party shopper. You don't have to trust a dispatcher or a delivery person to pick your produce and other perishable groceries for you. The California-based smart car and store hailing service has three co-founders. One of them is Tigran Shahverdian from Armenia. This project was was a way for me to uh, bring to people like access to local local products. So if you think with our with our RoboMarts we can cut the logistic chain and make it shorter so that people can get access to the uh, high quality products and and especially choose themselves when they are shopping. Because if you are uh, doing an ordering, somebody else chooses for, your, for yourself. Uh, second thing, it was uh, because I, I got to uh, apply my, my previous experience and knowledge in, in the tech, especially in autonomous systems. So it's, uh, these two things combined were really exciting for me. From fruits, vegetables to personal and pharmacy products, Robomart brings what the clients need where they need. They only have to have the app. So here you can see the zone where the Robomart is available and you can choose your location and then you have the different categories that you can choose and then after that you can click and hail the Robomart after that it will be assigned to you you will see the the route how it's coming to you when it's arrived you can uh, you will get a notification mm -hmm. that Robomart is outside you can get outside and then shop Emad Rahim and Ali Ahmed are the two other co-founders of Robomart. For Ali, there was a real demand for a new type of delivery service in the area. I've spent years in on-demand delivery. In London, I had a startup called Dispatch, which was basically doing delivery on-demand of groceries. And one of the biggest challenges that we faced was that our customers didn't trust the dispatchers to pick their perishables for them. So we knew it was a problem. And by creating a completely new model, we give consumers the fastest way to get their goods and the most convenient way. And it has massive potential. So as we grow the business, we can introduce more Romart types, more categories, more merchants on our platform, and be able to, to offer consumers the most compelling and convenient way to shop. Robomart is already present in the West Coast, in Los Angeles, and the co-founders plan to expand in the Bay Area and the East Coast in the future. But would the Robomart be seen on Armenian streets? I think that it will be very interesting to see if it can work here. Obviously, the access to high-quality food is different here than, uh, than in a lot of areas in, in the US and other places. Uh, but I think that it might work, so at some point we'll definitely try, try it.